This paper explores the idea of adding secondary motions to the animation of crowd characters in order to improve the visual quality of crowd animations. In a typical crowd animation pipeline, residual collisions may occur between different parts of character bodies due to a separation between the computation of character trajectories and character body animations. The goal of this paper is to evaluate the effects of adding shoulder motions to the characters on the visual quality of the animation. This means first making residual collisions less perceptible and second improving the overall naturalness of animations. Moreover, the addition of these shoulder motions is performed with a low computational overhead. Residual collisions are due to the common decomposition of a crowd animation pipeline into two independent stages. The crowd is first simulated by generating the global trajectories of the characters based on simplistic geometrical approximations such as 2D circles in this example. The trajectories are free of collisions with respect to this representation. The second stage consists in animating the internal joints of characters and generating full body motions following the global trajectories. Since the radius of the cylinders must be small enough to allow the simulation of dense crowds, shoulders and limbs may collide as illustrated in this example. The key idea of our work is to add shoulder motions directly in the animation stage to improve the naturalness of animations and decrease the perceptibility of residual collisions. To validate these statements, we ran two perceptual experiments. The first experiment studies local interactions between two characters and evaluates the effect of adding shoulder motions on the perception of both residual collisions and naturalness of animations. This experiment considers two factors. The first one is the number of characters which exhibit shoulder motions. Zero means that no shoulder motion is added. 1 and 2 are respectively when one or two of the characters turn their shoulders when passing at close distance. The second factor is the interpersonal distance between the two characters. It ranges from 0.2 meters to 0.7 meters. Based on these parameters, several stimuli were presented to participants who had to answer two questions each time. Did the characters go through each other? And how natural would you rate the interaction to be? These two questions allow to know when collisions are detected and if the quality of the interaction is natural. Here are some examples of stimuli. The second experiment considers crowd scenarios. Stimuli are generated to illustrate two scenarios. The first one is a video game scenario where a single character is walking against a unidirectional flow. The second one is a urban scenario where two large groups of characters are walking in bidirectional opposite flows. In addition to these scenarios, two factors are considered. The first one is the density of the crowd, ranging from 0.5 to 2.8 characters per square meter a notion related to the interpersonal distance between characters. The second factor is the trigger level, i.e. the probabilities of triggering shoulder motions. Triggering rules are deterministic and depend on the distance characters pass by. These trigger levels are 0, 33%, 66% or 100%. Based on these factors, several stimuli were presented to participants who had to answer two questions each time. How often did you see collisions between characters? And how natural was the way the characters moved in the crowd? Here are some examples of stimuli. 